21.7.13.3.2.74 and entities definitions and instructions. This is information people continue to ask me which it is already in my other videos. Since this will be read and people don't like to read this is the last time I will break this down. I like to play the game, follow law and procedures. So I too get guideposts this information been around. However I don't listen to people say you can do this and that. I like to read it so I go to the source government websites and law. So I went to the IRS website understood my position. I do not lie on my forms if I make a mistake I will revisit and correct my mistake. The key points when getting your eye for your foreign trust. You are doing business without the United States, which is not subject to taxes. If you do business with the United States, you are subject to taxes. It's all about understanding jurisdiction. Now if you have a SSN you are not eligible for a 98 tax exempt number. Now as I stated we are honest on our forms. So do you understand the game? You are two in one. One is a competent being. One is an entity who should be controlled by the living being. You must call the IRS for your 98 number and they will ask if you have an SSN number as soon as you say yes. Game over you failed, because you do not have a SSN number your entity that you control does. You're getting a 98 number so you the living being don't have a SSN. You're a child of God not a number of man registered as debt cattle. Also you need to have a non-Hague convention. Which is not in the United States jurisdiction. Remember you're doing business without the United States. Which you will be gifting all of your entity's assets to the trust with. Your IRS Form 8832. Google IRS Form 8832, 21.7.13.2.4, the 1st of October 2010, how an EIN is assigned. 1. The EIN Research and Assignment System, ERAS, is used to establish an EIN account for an entity. The account is established using CCESIGN, CIRM 2.4.8, and is stored on the Entity section of the Business Master File, BMF. Note. Records for employee plans are stored on both the BMF and the EPMF employee plan. Master file. 2. The system assigns a 9-digit EIN in the format NNNNNNNNNN. The first two digits, the EIN prefix, are determined by the campus of record assigning the EIN, unless the taxpayer is applying over the Internet or through the Small Business Association, SBA. Refer to the table. Below for details. Campus EIN prefixes Andover 10, 12 Atlanta 60, 67 Austin 50, 53 Campus EIN prefixes. Brookhaven 01, 02, 03, 04, 05, 06, 1113, 14, 16, 21, 22, 23, 25, 34, 51, 52. 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 65 Cincinnati 30, 32, 35, 36, 37, 38, 61 Fresno 15, 24 Kansas City 40, 44 Memphis 94, 95 Ogden 80, 90. Philadelphia 33, 39, 41, 42, 43, 48, 62, 63, 64, 66, 68, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76. 77, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 91, 92, 93, 98, 99. Internet 20, 26, 27 note. Prefix is 45, 46 and 47 were previously assigned from the Philadelphia office. They are now being reserved for future use by the Internet. Small Business Administration, SBA, 31. 3. 6 7 million series EINs are reserved for trusts, estates, and nonprofit exempt organizations under the Tax Equity and Fiscal Responsibility Act, TEFRA.
A6 7 million series ein can be identified by the number 6 or 7 immediately following. 21.7.13.3.2.7, the 2nd of October 2009, Foreign Entities, Definitions and Instructions. Applications from foreign entities are assigned ein prefix 98 and are only processed by the Philadelphia International Unit. If a call, paper, or fax is received in a location other than Philadelphia. Provide the caller with the phone and or fax number of the Philadelphia International Unit and hours of operation. 215-516-6999, not a toll-free number, 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday through Friday, forward paper and fax form SS4 applications to Philadelphia. For processing via fax 215-516-1040. The table below provides legal definitions of both domestic and foreign entities. These definitions may be useful when trying to determine, on a phone call, whether the entity is domestic or foreign. Entity IRC Section 7701 Definition Domestic Corporation or Partnership The term, domestic, when applied to a corporation or partnership, means created or organized in the United States or under the law of the United States or of any state unless, in the case of a partnership, the Entity IRC Section 7701 Definition Secretary provides otherwise by regulations. Foreign Corporation or Partnership The term, foreign, when applied to a corporation or partnership, means a corporation or partnership which is not domestic. Domestic Trust the term, domestic trust, means a trust in which a court within the United States is able to exercise primary supervision over the administration of the trust and one or more U.S. persons have the authority to control all substantial decisions of the trust. Foreign trust The term, foreign trust, means any trust other than a trust described, above. Domestic estate Any estate other than a, foreign, estate. Foreign estate. The term, Foreign estate, means an estate the income of which, from sources outside the United States which is not effectively connected with the conduct of a trade or business within the U.S., is not includable. In Gross Income under Chapter 26, Subtitle A. 3. Use the table below when processing forms SS4 received by mail or fax to determine whether an entity is foreign, and therefore will be assigned ein prefix 98 by the Philadelphia campus. If then, a corporation indicates on line 9b that it was incorporated in a foreign country assign ein prefix 98. There is language anywhere on form SS4. Such as, Tax Treaty Foreign Entity Trees, Reg. Section 1.14411E 4V897, I Election Form 1120F Form 5471 Information Return of U.S. Persons with respect to certain foreign corporations. W8IMY, Certificate of Foreign Intermediary, Foreign Flow Through Entity, or certain U.S. Branches for United States Tax. Withholding, W8EXP, Certificate of Foreign Government or other foreign form organization for United States. If then tax withholding, W8BEN, Certificate of Foreign Status of Beneficial Owner for. United States Tax Withholding, an entity checks the box on line 10 for compliance with IRS withholding. Regulations, assign prefix 98. None of the foreign indicators listed above are present, and the location address is domestic, and the mailing address is foreign assign a regular series I. Note, a foreign individual may be listed as the responsible party for a domestic entity and may not have a valid ITIN. Regardless, assign a regular series ein in this situation. CIRM 21.7.13.3.2.7.2 None of the foreign indicators listed above are present and the only address on the form SS4 is foreign fax the application to the Philadelphia campus for further review and assignment. Of the ein. 21.7.13.3.2.7.1, the 1st of October 2009. Foreign entities, persons not required to file a U.S. tax return 1. 
foreign entities persons that do not have income effectively connected with the conduct of a trade or business and do not have an office or place of business or fiscal agent or paying agent in the United States are not required to obtain an I'm. However, a foreign entity may need an I'm to comply with IRS withholding regulations, avoid withholding on portfolio assets or to claim tax treaty benefits. In this case, the taxpayer should complete Form SS4 as shown below. 1. When completing Line 7B of Form SS4, the taxpayer should write N.A. in the block asking for an ITIN or SSN unless the taxpayer has an SSN or ITIN. 2. On Line 10, the taxpayer should check the other box and specify on the Line 1 of the following conditions for W8BEN purposes only for tax treaty. Purposes only, trees, reg. 1.14411 E 4 V or Form 5471. 3. The taxpayer should enter N A on lines 11 through 17 of Form SS 4. 2. Establish these entities on the O file. 3. If the foreign entities individuals above receive a letter from the IRS soliciting the filing of a U.S. tax return, the foreign entity individual should respond to the letter immediately, by stating that it has no requirement to file any U.S. tax returns. Failure to respond to the IRS letter may result in a procedural assessment of tax by IRS against the foreign entity. Note, if the foreign entity later becomes liable to file a U.S. tax return, the foreign entity should not apply for a new IN, but instead use the IN it was first issued on all U.S. tax returns filed thereafter. 4. If the application is received over the phone, ask for the caller's name, SSN, ITIN, date of birth, and position with the entity. If the caller does not have an SSN, ITIN, and therefore cannot be authenticated using CCINOLE, the new IN will still be disclosed to the caller, as long as their position with the entity authorizes them to receive its CIRM 11.3.2.4, persons who may have access to returns and return information pursuant to IRC 6103E, I'm only a guidepost this information is from the IRS. Go to the IRS to get more information. Do your own due diligence. Cut out the middle man go to the source and use their own laws, procedures, and words against them as they do us. Operate in business with clean hands. You are only entitled to the time and energy you put in to obtain the things you want. Learn how to play the game and create generational wealth.